now let's proceed and let's create first file in our git repository folder. It is our working directory folder. Let me clear terminal by typing clear command like that. And now here let's create new file and it's possible to create new files in shell directly very fast by using such command as echo. Next type contents that you want to put inside of the file for example first like that. Next add greater than sign and afterwards specify name of the file you want to create in specific folder. And let's type 1.txt. In such case file 1.txt will be created in a local directory in git repository here. So let's echo text first to the file 1.txt. Same command is available in PowerShell on Windows. So let's press enter. And now here if I type ls I'll see that there is one file 1.txt. We could read contents of the file using command cut and next will be name of the file 1.txt. And here are contents of this file. First, that's the text that was printed here using echo command and we redirected the output of this command to the file using this sign. That's why now file 1.txt has such contents as first. Great, that's how we just created a new file in the working directory. And now it's time to explain to you what is the difference between working directory and git repository. Other than that, there is also staging area. And now let me talk about that. So in git there are three areas where files and folders could be located. And they are working directory, staging area or index and git repository. You already know that working directory is actually folder where you place files. In our example git repository is actually a folder where files are located. And now file 1.txt is located in the working directory. Next, you already know that git repository is actually hidden folder .git. And now this file 1.txt is absent in the git repository. And we could verify it very easily. We could list files and folders in the hidden folder .git. And next there is a subfolder called objects. You could use tab in order to autocomplete this path. And if I list files and folders here in .git slash objects, I'll see such subfolders as info and pack. And there are no other folders in this objects folder. And a bit later when we will commit changes in this git repository, you'll see that objects folder will have multiple subfolders and those subfolders will have actual git objects inside of them. Also there is staging area or index. And staging area is intermediate area between working directory and git repository. Before taking files from working directory and copying them into the git repository, files must be placed into the staging area or index. And also when you check out specific files from git repository, they move through staging area into the working directory. It is intermediate area between working directory and git repository. But how you could move files from working directory to staging area and how you could move files to git repository. For that there are few commands. If you want to add files from working directory to staging area, you need to use command git add. This command requires arguments. And if you specify dot as an argument git add dot. It will add all changed or untracked files into the staging area or index. But this command will not put files into the git repository. For that there is another command called git commit. And this command takes files from the staging area, files that are staged, and places them into the git repository, creates corresponding objects in the .git slash objects folder. And after git commit, git creates commit object. This object will also have its unique hash. And afterwards you will be able very easily check out different commits using command git checkout. And using such command 
you could actually jump between different versions of your project. And when you enter git checkout command, files and folders are taken from the git repository, go through staging area and are placed into the working directory. And it means that after git checkout command, contents of the working directory are changed. Let's now try that in action and first let's stage first file that we just created in the working directory and by using git add command we will add it into the staging area and afterwards using git commit command we will commit changes. Great, let's get started and uh, let's first use git add command. Let me clear terminal by using shortcut command k and first before adding files to the staging area let's check status of the git repository. For that there is command git status, like this. And I see here following information. I see that I am located on the branch main, there are no commits yet, and in the untracked file section I see file 1.txt. Untracked means that this file is not now tracked by git and it does not track changes in this file. I could modify this file, I could rename it and it will still remain untracked and all those changes in this file will not be saved by git. Alright, let's now add this file to staging area using command git add. git add and after add we could specify name of the file or files that you want to add to staging area. And let's type exact name of the file like that, 1.txt and press enter. And if I enter git status command now, I'll see that there are changes to be committed. And it means that there is new file 1.txt located in the staging area or index and it is ready for commit.